Hey everyone, welcome back to Wisting Alice. My name is Alice and boy, we have not filmed from this position in a very long time. I've always been sat in my armchair, but decided to ring the changes. Let's sit here for a little bit and I have not framed this well at all. Hello. <laughs> it's the best I can do. It's a bit of a bland background, but I'm already sitting at my desk. I didn't want to move. Sue me. Um, so yeah, today is a very exciting video. If you're new to my channel, every single year around this time, I put up a room tour video because I think, you know, it's spring. I do a bit of a spring clean, really get my room sorted, make it feel really bright and fresh and springy. Um, and that I think that's like the best time to do a room tour. So if you're like me and you love being nosy and looking around people's spaces and getting like interior design um, inspiration and things like that, this will hopefully be the video for you. Um, I did want it to be really spriggy, but um, it's a horrible day outside on the day I'm able to film this, so it's more like a cosy spring uh, room tour video rather than light and fresh, but it is what it is. Um, I really, really hope you enjoy it, and let's get into the video. Okay, let's get started. So this is my whole room. In fact, I'll zoom out a little bit. I'm going to go through each part in a little bit more detail. In true spring fashion, it is an awful day <laughs> like it is horrible outside so I've closed the curtains just to make things a little bit cozier but obviously I do have windows behind there you can kind of tell <laughs> um okay let's get started so this is my main doorway in so I've just got this hook on the door to keep my dressing gowns because I just didn't have anywhere else to put them they take up so much room in a wardrobe so this is my Luna Lovegood dressing gown this is like my thick one I wear in the winter and the autumn and then this, I think I got it from Next. It's got kind of like, to me, it's like an Indian inspired, maybe African inspired um, sort of Victorian pattern on it. And that's really thin. So that's good for spring and summer. And then my old faithful, my Udi, really just for winter. But knowing me, I wear it at all times of the day. <laughs> um, let's go this way. So this wall here, I've just got a clock. It has hands and butts and boobs on it but this let me move backwards this wall obviously when the doors open it's pretty much covered so I didn't really want to put like anything too major on here but I do have a mirror that I use for when I get ready and if you're wondering what that is this is a keyboard so I just could teach myself keyboard and kind of gave up because I got really busy so it just sort of hides behind there for now and this is where I keep my work bag that has like my work laptop and notebook and stuff in so that when it's the weekend I can kind of put all that away into this bag and it's here if I need it but I could just leave it alone <laughs> so that's sort of this entryway probably the most like boring part of my room it's probably the part I like the least but what could you do so this is a weird little <laughs> little nook. So this is a new build house. And I think what you were supposed to do when you bought the house is pay extra to get like a fitted wardrobe in. And it would have gone here as well. And this would have been shelves. Um, but we decided not to do that. Um, so now I just have this like cool little nook. <laughs> oh, one thing I forgot to say on my mirror is I have a Marauder's Map. Hey. Um, so this picture, I want to believe, is amazing. I've always wanted one of these. And my friend is a very talented artist. And she painted this. And I loved it so much. So she was like, you can just have it. So love it very much. So it's pride of place right there. Here is a bit of a mess <laughs> at the moment. I have this bunting that I actually got for Christmas. And I still need to put up and find a good place for it. So it's sitting there at the moment. And then I got a couple of home decor things for whenever I get my new house. So they're sitting here at the moment, but I need to get like a tub and put them in the garage and store them somewhere. So they're there for now. And then everything else is from my pen pal. I like to keep it there um, until I've kind of written back just so that I have it on hand. And sometimes I read it more than once. So that's all there, but it's not normally all there. <laughs> then I have this basket and in it I just keep, well, they're actually massive scarves, but I kind of pretend that they're like big blankets but they don't ever come out they're just for decoration this one's a blanket I'm pretty sure this one's a scarf <laughs> and then in here as well I have baby Yoda my little cutie and a knitted Dobby <laughs> that's just so cute pretty sure I got that from Putty Jukes and that's just from Shop Disney and then in here I've got my magic band from when I went to Disney World in 2019 and my ears as well. So these are my um, Expedition Everest Animal Kingdom ears. Then we've got uh, Monsters Inc. Hollywood Studios ears. Sorry if you can't see it that well. Epcot Ball, Epcot ears and Snow White um, Magic Kingdom ears. So very cool. I also have a chocolate frog card. Oh, that went into focus weird. Uh, back there and a Quidditch oh 
that's so weird they does that um a quidditch world cup thing as well sorry i'm not great with like camera lighting and things like that and then i've got this big fake plant because one thing i should have said at the beginning when i was sort of designing this room i wanted it to be really bright and colorful because my past room i went for a lot of like pastels and nude colors which was great but i just wanted to do something different this time so we've gone bright and colorful and like a little bit like jungly as well so got a big plant there and then i got this i can't remember where i got it from but you had to like make it yourself it was like a diy project and i just thought it was so cool so then we move on to the wardrobe ignore that the door fell off and I'm not able to get it back on so please ignore that um but on the top I've just kind of used it as a display shelf for all my Harry Potter things so again got a couple of plants hanging down here and fairy lights along the whole thing that is my Sirius Black wand, which I like very much. And then my set of Harry Potter books. It's missing one at the moment because I'm doing a reread, so it's out right now. But normally they would all be there. I have some massive chess pieces, some potions, potion ingredients like Dittany and Devil's Snare. That is my ticket to when I went to see Philosopher's Stone in the Great Hall at Christmas. Quidditch set and a Hogwarts Express ticket. A mandrake with, um, I got that from Etsy by the way, with a time turner keyring, a knitted niffler, <laughs> Luna's glasses, and I can never remember what they're called. That's so weird. Every time they come up, I can't remember. Uh, you know what they are. Ginny's got one. <laughs> um, and then down here, oops, sorry about the finger. I just keep bags and hats and gloves and, you know, all that kind of stuff just fits nicely in here inside this is where i keep a lot of my clothes going from like coats to jackets to hoodies to cardigans to blazers to shirts then um like day dresses like pinafores and dungarees into dresses um yeah dresses all the way through basically um and then i keep shoes here so these are my summer shoes and what i do is i kind of rotate them because i keep some shoes by the front door um and in here I keep like cards, birthday stuff, just if anyone, you know, sometimes you have someone who randomly gets a new job or moves house or something. I could just grab something from here without having to think like, oh, I'm going to have to go and buy a bunch of stuff. Do you know what I mean? So I just keep all that in there. These little things that I put here just sort of keep like underwear and stuff like that. Pajamas and swimming costumes are in there. And then these are trousers. Then in here, I've never been too happy with this, how this looks, but it's the best I could do. I keep my perfumes and body sprays in here. This is a cool little like candle thing. I was really into like Southwest decor for a little while. So that's where that comes from. And then in here is all my face stuff. So makeup, um, what are these called? Eyeshadow palettes, makeup brushes, face wipes, hair removal creams, medicine, you know, just anything like that really and a little mirror and then I've got some cotton buds in the back there and then this is hair so curlers straighteners hair bands clips um you know sprays I don't know how to make it look better than that that's what I've got <laughs> and then we come to my windows so obviously for the sake of privacy I'm not going to show you like the view out the window but I will show you what we've got so this book I actually got from um Disneyland and it's about the Pirates of the Caribbean rides in all the Disney parks and like how they work and how they were designed and like tips and tricks and easter eggs and things like that which was really cool I definitely want to buy the Haunted Mansion one next time I'm there another fake plant in this awesome little jar thing. I got the plant from Ikea and I can't remember where I got the pot. Uh, Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Bean. Sorry, I'm just trying to be really careful about what I show. Two tins. There's actually nothing in the tins. I just like them. Knitted pumpkin. Pumpkin candle. Even though it's spring, gotta keep that Halloween vibe. Another plant. And then these are fake Hogwarts textbooks. You can't really see from the binding, but they are, I promise. <laughs> If you're wondering what that is, it's part of a gift for my brother's birthday. I've got nowhere else to put it, so it's sitting there. And then down here is wires, cables, chargers, headphones, um, extra phone cases, like everything, basically. So here I just mostly keep books. So I've got the Twilight Saga, um, a little like watering can thing a plant, a little pot, and then down the other end is where I keep the Hunger Games because I've never left 
2012, apparently. <laughs> so this is my bed. This is my spring bedding. So it just, ch it does change season on season. Keep my laptop there. And then this rug goes underneath it. Yes, I'm wearing my pajamas. <laughs> Always have these fairy lights and at Christmas and stuff. I'll sometimes put some other things in there. Two fluffy pillows and this cushion, which I got from Anthropology, And it is technically a Christmas cushion, but I keep it all year round because it was so freaking expensive. And these actually aren't supposed to be here. I should have moved these earlier, but I was filming some other videos. So let me put these back. And maybe this is a good time to show you my chair. <laughs> This is an Ikea chair. This is what I use to film most of my videos. I'll put my phone there and kind of have it all set up and then I'll sit here. So I just keep a blanket on there, a little llama cushion, that's from Urban Outfitters, and my old school black and white Mickey and Minnie that I got from Disneyland. So just move them out of the way when I'm filming. Uh, where was I? Yes, yeah, so this is my gallery wall up here. Again, I just tried to go for bright and colorful and things that I like. So here we have rainbows, just thought that was cute. A cactus, again, to kind of go with that tropical-y theme. Um, I just thought the colors in this striped one was cute. Flamingos, this little plant, face plant pot made me laugh. Again, a couple more like abstract pieces. I thought this was adorable. Looks like someone drew it. I just think it's so cute. A little camper van, um, camping in the wilderness. Dinosaurs, because I love dinosaurs. This sort of cheetah, piranha thing. I don't know. I see them as piranhas, but maybe they're not. And a Hogwarts Express travel poster, because of course. While I'm up here, up high, this is my main lamp, lamp, lamp light as well. Uh, just so you can see that too. Then we come around to my bedside table. So I always just keep my water bottle there. I actually got this in Iceland. It says full-time Icelandic wilderness adventurer. And then this is a recent thing I got from Bath and Body Works and it's a sleep aromatherapy spray. So before I go to sleep each night, I just spray this on my pillows and on me as well. And it's very nice and relaxing, very lavendery. Then obviously I've got a light, a clock and a candle. This again is an anthropology one and I love it very much. Ignore, that's my washing basket. Ignore how full it is. I changed my bedding today and I need to go down and put it all in the washing machine. It's not normally like that, I promise you. And then underneath here, I have this amazing customized Hogwarts trunk and obviously some wires there. Ignore them. So it's got AK, which is my initials on it. And in this trunk, I keep all my university stuff because I'm currently studying for a degree. And so I keep all my textbooks and things in there. And then this is for any like handouts and printouts I get and stuff like that. So I feel like that's quite a nice solution to avoid my room being too cluttered. And then this is the rug that I sort of keep under this area and under my desk, which we are coming to now. So this is my desk area, maybe my favorite part of the room. Uh, not much to say about the chair and the desk. It is what it is. <laughs> um, I've got this super cute little yellow okra, I think it technically is, um, lamp here. And then a couple of mugs, so I sort of keep my mugs to myself. This is a Mickey Mouse Mouse pad. I've had this for about 10 years. I really need to change it. And then this computer, which is actually pretty new. I got this this week, I think, so I'm still getting used to it, but I am obsessed with it. I always have a desk fan next to me because I just get way too hot, but I also have a little heater because I also get way too cold. <laughs> I can't win, so I always have both. Um, I like to have a candle on the go. This one is Iceland that I got in Iceland recently. It smells really fresh and nice, Bath and Body Works. Um, this is obviously like a file container thing. All my notebooks are broken. I don't know what happened. They're my university notebooks, but I'm keeping them because I'm not finished with the courses yet and the information in these might come up. But once I'm done with this year, they're getting chucked and I'll put some nice fresh ones in. And this shark, my mum and dad bought for me after I went shark diving. as like a well done. So love that. Keep Bruce up there. <laughs> Here I keep any books I'm currently reading. So I've actually just finished The Jukunai and Crazy Rich Asians and I'm planning on giving them away. I need to find someone who wants them. So I'm leaving them there for now. And I'm currently doing a reread of both Twilight and Philosopher's Stone. I like to kind of have two on the go at the same time. In this pen pot is mostly like decorative. I keep like funny little pens, whereas this one hidden behind is more practical. <laughs> so I hide that away. But yeah, that is my desk. I try not to make it too cluttered because I do a lot on here. I obviously like my own social time. I do things here. I edit here. I um, do my work, like work work here. So try not to make it too cluttered. 
And then up here, I think this is new from the last video, maybe not, I have my cork board, which I love. So I have this like paper bunting. It's actually supposed to hang like that uh, higher up. I'll need to fix that with some fairy lights around it. And then anytime I travel or do something fun, I'll just put it on here. So on the outside, I have my Conqueror Challenge medals. So I do like virtual challenges where you have to walk or run or whatever a certain distance. So I've done a few. So I've got Angkor Wat, the English Channel, I have Marathon to Athens and Everest as well. There it is. I'm currently working on, <laughs> I'm losing my voice. I'm currently working on Land's End to John O'Groat. So hopefully that will be another edition at some point soon. I have here a little Queen Elizabeth and also a Mary Queen of Scots. I'm obsessed with Tudor stuff and Tudor history. So I like kind of having them there, but I keep them apart so they don't fight. <laughs> This is tickets to the Harry Potter studio tour in London, so I always keep them. And this is my ticket when I did fly over Iceland, which was an amazing experience. I also have my magic pass for Disneyland when I went for the 30th anniversary. And then this is a picture of me and a dog. <laughs> Won't provide any more information than that. A Wolfbane pin and a Quidditch World Cup banner, which I think I also got from Punny Dukes. A Hogwarts Express letter my will watching in Iceland ticket, a care of magical creatures magnet that I just thought was really cute. I got that little sunflower magnet from going to the Van Gogh exhibition and a Dumbledore pin and my ticket to see Hamilton. And this pin I got when I went to the studio tour again because I was a Wizarding World gold member. This card I got that's super creepy but super cool. A set of cards, there was this Joker that had Dobby on it. I just thought it was too cute. This little thing, don't know what it is and me and a friend as well. So that is my cork board. It is a constant work in progress, so it's never finished. And who knows, next year I'll have way more stuff on it. But that is this kind of space at the moment. And I'm very happy with it. And I like that I can keep adding to it. Moving around to the last section, which is opposite the chair. And this is my TV area. So this is definitely new because I put this up not too long ago. And it is a map of the world. And since I've gotten more into traveling recently, I'm going to start, you know, putting pins or dots or stickers on places that I've been. So, so far, not too many. I've been to Florida and New York, Iceland, loads of places in the UK, obviously, France, Spain and Greece. And hopefully all going to plan next year. I'll have a couple more places in the USA to put in and Japan as well. And I'm also hoping early next year to go to Belgium and the Netherlands and Greece again. So slowly but surely throughout my life, I'll keep adding to this, but I just, I love it. And I just like having a map to look at. I just really enjoy maps and things like that. So yeah, this is my TV area. So because it's spring, I've got this kind of fake flower garland thing around, which I quite like. And then my wax melt diffuser thing and my actual wax melts. And then um, I got a pin seeking collection for being in the Harry Potter fan club, aka Wizarding World gold member. So I keep that there because I don't really know what else to do with it, <laughs> but I like it. Underneath, I've got a snack basket. It's pretty empty at the moment, but I just keep snacks for myself in there and uh, my PlayStation as well. Here are all my candles. These are, this is where um, that Iceland candle normally goes. I'm just kind of holding its place there. But you'll see it goes quite far back. So these are my spring candles now that we're in spring. And then behind is summer because that's next. Then autumn, then winter. It kind of goes like that. Um, and I bring them forward every season. So look at me in my stock rotation. <laughs> and then here, um, in there is earrings and jewellery and just a little like diary thing. Um, you can see my PlayStation controllers back there. And then here are all my PlayStation games as well. So I've got the um, Dark Pictures Anthology, Until Dawn, Man and Madame, Little Hope, House of Ashes, The Quarry Devil in Me. That is my favourite game series ever. I also have the Lego Harry Potter collection, Overcooked and Hogwarts Legacy. But definitely need to get a few more at some point. But those are my favourites at the moment. And I think with that, that is my entire room tour completely done. And that does it for my room tour. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, if you know of any amazing room tour videos out there on YouTube or on the internet, I'd love to know. Or house tours. I am obsessed with watching anything to do with like interior design, spaces, architecture, that kind of thing. So give me your recommendations below. I'd love to see them. I'm constantly posting updates to my room and what I do to it and new things that I buy and add to it, take away and stuff on my Instagram and my Twitter as well. So they will be like 
link below if you'd like to join and see what's going on. Uh, but you can probably tell I'm getting a really bugged up nose. I filmed like so many videos today and I think it's starting to affect me. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.